Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. Unfortunately, my uh, OBS studio decided to completely dispose of the last recording for some reason. It just completely broke it for some reason. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play the Yellow Switch Palace because I don't have a save that will allow me to do that easily. But I can replay these levels, and so I shall. Collegenius Copus, or whatever. So, there's the dragon coin. I got the dragon coin, guys. One dragon coin out of five. So we've got all of these uh, lava lotuses here. Point. Two fireballs and a stomp is usually the easiest way to take care of trucks like that. And goodbye, I don't even need to deal with you. I generally like to kill the chucks in case I need to come back later or I get forced backwards by another enemy or something like that, but when I'm going through a pipe it doesn't really matter. You missed. I got the second dragon coin. Gotta keep myself honest here. Hello charging chuck. Boing. Bounce. Bounce. Okay, let's just kill that guy. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so the trick here is I need to lure one of the chucks around. So the one that w looked like he was guarding this thing, I need to drag over here. Thankfully the platforms just line up. What a coincidence, right? And now I bounce on him. Alright, got it. Boink. And that's the secret exit down again. And those first two dragon coins are saved! Alright. Despawn those fireballs. Didn't even need to kill that Chuck, he just killed himself. Goodbye, he can go too. First I thought this was the level with the with the lava load eye that spit really far, but that was the one of the ones that I played last time. Boink. Double kill. Die two. And I get another one up. Just getting all the lives here. Whoops, I missed. Om nom nom, goodbye. Well, that didn't work out so well. Dang it, I was kind of cornered. The trees make it a lot harder to deal with the fallen. Goodbye. Apparently I managed to hit him with both of them there, or I had already hit with him with one of my shots before. Didn't look like either of those was the case, but he died, so... Alright, uh... I don't think there was anything... No, wait, this was the midpoint room, wasn't it? Yeah, I almost just didn't bother. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. I can get up there with just a flying leap. I'm pretty sure I just got the dragon going. Because I was able to move just a little bit to the right after getting up there. So forget bouncing off the chuck or something like that. This is definitely a level where it's pretty easy to take a straight hit somewhere. Right, we get ourselves a second Yoshi, or rather third Yoshi, technically speaking. The second one was more of a one-up in practice, but... This isn't a level where it's easy to keep Yoshi if he gets hit. He's just going straight down that hole. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, it, it's hard to tell because it looks like it, that block is part of the tree, but it's not. Boink. Let's just kill this guy so that I know I can just bounce on out there, but... Oh, that's dragon coin number four. I have to manually track the dragon coins. That's just great. Oh. Dang it. Forget trying to hit those blocks. Not worth it. I 
Hello, Yoshi. I'll wait a moment to get on you. It's pretty rare to see a level that's so plentiful with the Yoshis. And this time around, I know... Don't bother eating that guy. It's not a good decision. <laughs> it makes it easier to get the one-up, I suppose, but... I'm not in business of getting one-ups, really. Nom nom nom. You failed. Well, the screen stopped scrolling there, so it messed with me a bit. Because, like, the easiest way to track where you are behind those trees is to keep track of where the center of the screen is. But when... Oh, nice! I got the 50! <laughs> That's pretty rare. I don't usually get that. Some guy is so good at getting all the 50s. It's ridiculous. Alright, that was Collagenous Copus, and I'm going the wrong way. So let's go to the other level I can replay, which is Rubicon. I think this is a level that was... Oh yes, this is the level where you couldn't move backwards. So there's a moon sitting right there, and you just can't get it. Or at least not that easily. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a way to get it, but it might be just there to taunt you. So this is kind of a, like one of the level sections in Shattered Dreams from the original jump. That's one of the levels from the original jump. Oh, whoops. I think I can get that now. Because I have no way to move right at all. I can't actually do it. It's gonna be hard though. Shoot. I wasn't able to compensate them if I jumped there. That torpedo Ted is placed in a nasty spot. Okay, good enough. Maybe lining that up almost perfectly is you get the uh, moon back there. Well, that's one dragon coin down there. Unless I die, which is definitely possible. I'm just gonna jump for it. Yeah. Okay. I gotta walk really slowly here because it's really easy to go too far when you can't compensate. Just gonna jump. Gotta lure this guy out of the way. And yeah, get him to go down there. I think it's a little bit less painful that way. Got it. Alright, that's two. I missed that one last time, so I d wanted to be really careful this time around. And he's dead now, thanks to our good old friend 1FO. Slide kill him. Slide kill him. Don't need to do anything too fancy there, like I did last time. I think I went into the water and did some shenanigans to dodge them. It's like, no, just slide into them and they're dead. Goodbye. Um, this is a torpedo Ted spawner, isn't it? There we go. It's not too hard to pull off. There we go. Into the pipe. Deal with this guy. Don't need the power up because things have been going pretty smoothly so far, actually. Okay, I need to make it farther than that. That's the trick. The fact that I've played these levels before is definitely making it easier, so that allows me to bounce into that. And that's another dragon coin down. I think there's only one left. I failed to keep track this time. It's easier if you don't quite get full speed. It's cool how you can just go backwards through the water there. Get that guy out of the way. And jumping allows you to get past the thwomp. It looks like you're supposed to go into the pipe or something. That confused me last time, and I killed myself and started uh, going through the level again, and only to realize, oh, you can't actually go in that pipe. That's a neat little puzzle there. Alright. I think this is the last dragon coin. I don't think any of them were really hard to find, so it's not like I'm that worried. Oh yes, this was like a little puzzle here, wasn't it? Just a little bit farther. I think I can just do it with another jump. Yeah, but the Koopa isn't timed right. There we go, now he is. 
and now we just need to use this one to get into the pipe. There we go. That wasn't quite as graceful as before. Um, what did I do last time? Uh, probably not that. Because that didn't work. Whoops. Oh, is this guy invincible? Okay. Well, that makes things a bit easier. Okay, I gotta make the thwomp come down, and then we bounce on him. Okay. Use him again. Oh, shoot. Can I get the feather now? I don't think I can. Oh, that's unfortunate. I shouldn't have moved... I shouldn't have jumped into the block. Oh, good enough. And now I think I just slide to victory. Oh, not quite. So how do I want to manage this? There, like that. That works. I came, I saw, I conquered. Because it's the Rubicon and all that. Wow, almost managed another 50, and in this level to boot, that's saying something. <laughs> well, things have been going swimmingly, figuratively and literally, apparently. And now for the yellow switch palace that I can't go into. Let's be Boon because I pressed the wrong button. But, regardless... Hungry plants. Wait, didn't I do this? I thought I did this level already. Oh. I think I did do this level already, but I didn't save afterwards because the recording broke. Or maybe I didn't save afterwards because I'm an idiot. One or the other. I might have ended up having to play this again today anyway. This level was made by Pyro, I think. Yolfin Gambler made the Squish Palace I can't play. And I forget who made the other two, so... Yeah, this level has a lot of obstacles that you have to react to fairly quickly, so... Uh... It's not something that I'm going to probably breeze through, even with more knowledge. Oh, I'm supposed to go under that guy. I forgot. This level definitely feels like something <laughs> that would be in Yump. It just has that sort of jankiness to it. Okay, so... Okay, just keep going right. Now I gotta wait until this guy falls. I think I shoved the Wiggler off this time. Sometimes you can keep bouncing there, but sometimes that happens instead. Uh, I think that's just one fireball. I think you just want to go. This jump is pretty nasty looking. I didn't fail at it before, but I don't think I won't. Oh yeah, that's part of the reason why it was hard, and then that happened, and the Wiggler decided to fall off the left side of the plant, making it very difficult to actually stay on. Well, let's try it again. The unfortunate thing is I want to spend some time talking, but the timer tends to run out when I do that. <laughs> so it's not necessarily a good idea for my gameplay, per se, but... Ah, crud. But it's probably better than talking while trying to do stuff. Dang it! He's falling off the left side of the muncher. Yeah, whatever, just take the hit. It's kind of lazy of me, but whatever. Alright, that's just about not letting your eyes deceive you. Now we get a midpoint and a mushroom. 
in the correct order so that I don't grab the mushroom like an idiot before getting the midpoint. Dang it. I didn't keep my eyes on everything. Dang it. Let's just back up so that I have more room after uh, that guy. So that guy just jumps off. This is kind of nasty. Poink. Yeah, that obstacle is one that you definitely have to just go with the flow on. But it just barely works. That flame almost feels like just a completely different enemy. Well, great. That's gone now. When it's on the 1FO. I hope I'm even going fast enough to make it. Um, well, I guess I gotta wait anyways. How does this work? Dang it. I, I leapt before I looked. all the way up there. Alright. That guy's not gonna come back, so let's just try for a few more points. I can get a whole 20 points. Yeah. It's worth a life at the very least. I only needed 17 for a life. Alright. That probably went about as well as it did last time. Maybe I should at least... Look at these levels. Yup, yup, make it this one too. Ugh, I shouldn't have done that. Just in case what happened last time happens again. And Lazy made the Rubicon. Alright. Alright, I'm not sure if that ghost house is gonna meet back up, so I'm gonna go back to that one first. I don't know if this level has a secret exit or not. Created by Daiso. That's a name I recognize. Had a couple levels in the original jump. Oh, that was nothing. Traveler's tip: If you have brain plague disorder, my advice is to you is to always look ahead. You never know what dangers are in the dark. That sounds intimidating. And that looks intimidating. Okay, so looks like those blocks are real. Boom just kind of moved forward a little bit, kind of eerily there. I feel like something's gonna happen to completely change this up. Oh, oh it's dark. Oh, why would I do that? Now it looks like this is the reason why. Alright, so it looks like I need... That's what it meant by look ahead. It wants you to see what's ahead and then deal with it. All in the dark. And the switch was right here. Okay. So one tile gaps. And it wants me to look ahead with the R. Okay, there's a saw. And there won't be any space to jump on the saw after I, I change the switch around. So I got to at least a little bit careful about hitting my head. Here's nothing. Here's where the size. I should probably just get rid of this. You missed. 
And here's the button. Alright, so I'm probably going to need to hit that button again. So a few spaces ahead, there's a Koopa. Okay, just got to be careful. And then I can't see what's after that. Then it looks like uh, we're going to have a green platform here, so it should be easy to get up. Piece of cake. I say just before I die, I'm sure. And now I can't actually see what's coming. As soon as you turn the lights on, he kicks it at you. That's that's pretty clever. Okay. And I have a feeling I still don't want this. Well, that's all I can see. There's a pipe. Actually, for all I know, I can just go through the pipe right now. Okay, there will be a saw. It'll go down. As long as I... If I manage to get past it, I'm fine. And then there's just a couple Koopas and a, another pipe. And then I can't see. Hey, I despawned it. I doubt I'll be able to do that when it matters. Is that thing actually capable of coming out from there? It doesn't really... Oh, it's just there to scare you. Okay. So you're just going to be jumping around blindly like I was doing earlier, expecting a saw there. And then there just isn't one. <laughs> okay, I see it. That saw go ahead, because I don't really care. These Koopas move slowly, so I'll just point. I could grab his shell, but it would probably just hit the other guy, so. And now I can. Oh, shoot. I mean, I suppose I could have at least looked. Oh, rats. I couldn't see that at all. Or I had already walked off it. <laughs> I mean, if I had gone a little bit slower, I could have, but... Alright, let's try not to just throw away our power-up and then immediately die this time. Or immediately die without throwing away the power-up. That doesn't seem like a good plan either. Well, I'm gonna trust the coin, I suppose. I guess jumping forward happened to work. And now I'm thrust straight into this situation. Okay, so it's gonna make me look quickly in this time. There's a platform down here, and then that's as far as I can see, really. Okay, so the door is up there. Following these. Oh, okay, I see it now. Is there something up that way? It doesn't look like it. It's just to release the saw. I don't think there's anything over here. And then we just uh, turn this off. And it's an easy hop to the door. Okay, this is kind of a tense level. Traveler's tip. From my analysis, there seems to be monsters that like to sleep in the light, but are awake in the dark. That's silly. Well, they're nocturnal, dummy. Uh, but that is pretty scary. Maybe it's booze? I don't know. Right. Okay, so the swamp isn't... Here's if it hurts me. Yeah, it does. I just had to try it, you know. It almost seems pointless, and that the thump looks really creepy without a face, you know. There's really nothing exciting there, but don't jump as I go along the corridor. Hello. <laughs> yeah, just get up here. And don't jump. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> it's, it's the Super Mario equivalent of a jump scare. Okay. Okay, so I don't want to hit those switches. I just want to hit these ones. Looks like we're good now. Can't wait for whatever happens after I turn this on. Oh. Okay. So that ball and chain is just gonna go around. And I've just gotta line it up. Assuming that's how I'm supposed to do it. I'm not sure if there's something I could do to make it easier, but... Alright, so those swims will go. I should just go in immediately and get past them. What else is over there? Spikes. Just keep walking. And this pipe. Oh shoot, I did not see that guy there at all. But thankfully my mushroom was lined up with me, so... it or not. I'm assuming I'm supposed to. Okay, so the thwimp is irrelevant. So I really didn't need to hit it, I don't think. Oh, okay. The thwimp is not irrelevant. It's showing me what's coming, but it doesn't really matter. I could figure that out on my own, I think. They all missed. Okay, so it looks like I just, uh... I probably don't want to hit any of these switches. Go away. Oh, that didn't work. I held the button just a moment too late. And the thwomps just kind of give you this little perch that allows you to just sit there for a bit. momentum here. There we go. This is a level where it's definitely very useful to remember what all the obstacles are from the first playthrough. Makes it easier to go back through. Okay. So they're all at the same height, which makes it pretty easy to tell. Like, they're all in the same point in their rotation, I mean. Oh, that might change, actually. I should probably scroll the screen to the right so that they stay that way. So it's easy to tell where they all are. Well, that shows the absolute worst possible moment I could have to do that. But it doesn't matter, because we're out of the scary dungeon now and into the easy flagpole. Oot. Alright, that looks like it'll be good to, for now. Thanks for all the cool levels. That last one was very slow-paced, but it was a good slow pace. Like, it was just think it through and you'll be fine sort of thing. Except for that one weird hop with the thwomp set was surprisingly high platforming in a level like this, but it was fun. See you next time.